Pennsylvania. Mr. President, I, I just want to respond to my friend uh, from Oregon, and uh, I've uh, enjoyed the many, uh, many conversations he and I have had on tax reform and other policies, but I want to strongly disagree with his characterization of this process. What our friends on the other side of the aisle want to do is they want to be able to kill tax reform by filibuster. That's their goal here. That's what they want to do. And in fact, they were kind enough to be explicit about it in a letter that they made public, where 45 of the 48 Democratic senators stipulated the terms under which they would be willing to work with us on tax reform. And one of them, one of those terms, included that we had to use a process that would allow them to kill it by filibuster. That was, they put that in writing. 45 of the 48 signed the letter. Now, how could we proceed and deliver the tax relief and the tax reform we want to provide for the American people and our economy with the Democrats holding this threat over our head that they would be able to kill it by filibuster? Senator Toomey. Now, uh, let me finish my point, then I'll be happy to yield. Obviously, it would be malpractice for us to allow them to kill this that way. And so, we have taken an approach that fully allows unlimited Democratic participation. But at the end of the process, it's a simple majority vote, and a minority will not be able to, fill, to kill this bill by filibuster. Every step along the way, our Democratic colleagues have every opportunity to weigh in, to engage. We had, I don't know how many hearings on this. We had a full markup in the committee. Unlimited amendments were offered, debated, voted on. And here, over the next, I don't know, day or two, I expect we'll have many more amendments. There's no limit to the amendments our Democratic colleagues can offer. It is not true to say that the reconciliation process precludes bipartisan participation. And I hope it doesn't, because this bill cuts taxes for middle-income families. That's a fact. It's not a convenient fact for some of my friends on the other side of the aisle, but it lowers taxes for working-class families, for middle-income families, that's a fact. It's going to help encourage tremendous economic growth by allowing our business to be competitive. That's a fact. And we'll get into why, and we'll get into the details. But the fact is, this is exactly what our economy needs right now. More importantly, it's exactly what our constituents need right now. And there's nothing about this process that precludes my Democratic colleagues from offering their amendments, engaging in the debate, and supporting the product in the end. And by the way, I'm still hopeful that there will be some support in the end because I think it's going to be pretty hard to explain opposition to working class and middle class tax cuts and corporate tax reform that's going to generate strong economic growth. And I'd be happy to yield to the gentleman yeah, from I, Ohio. I think that